So I've been building software applications for just over 20 years, and during that time, I've made so many mistakes. None of them have been quite as profound as the one that almost cost people their lives. Early in my career, I was developing Windows applications for the automobile manufacturing industry. Now this job was very different to the typical developer job you get now in a software house. The applications I was working on was really all about communicating to different hardware. That hardware was usually machines and devices that made up an entire production line that would reside in a factory somewhere. Now if you're a developer, you probably get a massive kick out of seeing your finished application work. If you're a front-end developer, it feels really good seeing your UI come to life. And if you're a back-end developer, it can be so satisfying seeing your API just work. I gotta tell you though, both of these pal in comparison with actually seeing things in the physical world move. The first time I wrote an application where I had a button, I click something, and then a physical cylinder would move in the real world, oh man, I was absolutely in love, I was hooked. It was this kick that drove me, and because of this, I really excelled at developing. The more applications I wrote, the bigger my confidence got. I then started reaching out into other areas of the business. I was talking to customers, I was doing the quotations, I was starting to do sales. Then of course, because I was doing so much, I reckoned I should be getting paid more. So that wasn't so much of an option at the business I was working with. So the next logical step was to leave the company and go it on my own. I started my own business where I could be in control of everything. I was pretty fortunate because I already had a good relationship with some of the customers from being at the other company, so it wasn't particularly difficult for me to find work. So one of my first projects at my newly formed business was at a major car manufacturer. They had an old application that was controlling the assembly process of the axles for a car. So whether you know a lot about cars, an axle really is that shaft that goes in between the wheels and its whole purpose is to distribute power to the two wheels and to support the weight of the entire car. Cool. The application that needed changing wasn't too much of a big deal. All it needed to do was support a new type of axle that the production line was going to build. Easy stuff, easy money for a super overconfident youth like me. This particular production line was pretty small and it was a manual production line, meaning there would be a human being doing the steps, building up the axle himself, looking at this application and having the application verify what the human being was doing to make sure that the axle was built safely and securely. The application change that I needed to do was just allow the production line to build new and different types of axles. So once I'd done my changes to the application, I was appalled by the quality of the code that this previous person had written for this application. It wasn't going to be up to my standard. So I took it upon myself to rewrite one portion in particular that really needed some improvement. Cleaned it up after all the refactoring, absolutely perfect. I had made this code so much better. So it all looked great, I was happy, we loaded this new code on the production line. Production line just ran completely fine. I got my money, no problem. About a week later, I got a call from my customer demanding that I come in and see them. So it turns out that that code that I had refactored and made better had actually introduced a bug into the system. The bug allowed the guy who was working there to skip the tightening process on the brake drum which is really the thing that holds the wheel on. So on this particular day, the operator, the guy who was working on the axle, didn't tighten one of the bolts. That was luckily picked up later on. The customer pretty much said to me that, Mark, the change you made could have resulted in the deaths. If this car had, if this axle had gone into a car like this, we would have had the wheel come off on the road. The bug I introduced broke the code that checked whether the wheels had been tightened properly to the axle. Really all because of my overconfidence, thinking that I could do better than the guy that had written, wrote the code before me. It was an exceptionally humbling experience. I went from being arrogant, cocky, overconfident, to realizing things have consequences. Code changes you make have consequences. Test your code, ask questions, make sure it's doing the job it's supposed to. Double check it, triple check it, write tests to check it. That day has stuck with me through the rest of my programming career. It's taught me to always look at the code I'm writing from the perspective of the user using it. What, how is this going to impact the user? If I do this wrong, what consequences is this going to have, have for the person using it? If it's a credit card transaction, are we going to be overcharging the user? 
Uh, is the user just generally going to be unhappy? Is the user going to be, is, are we making the user's life better by the code we're writing? So overconfidence has no place in software engineering. I think that's all I have. We made it to the end. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next.